Oh, Diane. Now, I only want to celebrate British Cheese Week. <laughs> it's next month. I thought I'd celebrate it as I traditionally do and ignore it. What? No, no, no. Well, I was thinking, OK, how about an entire menu using only British cheese? Yorkshire Blue, Ticklemore, a nice bit of Cornish Yarg, Ribblesdale Blue Goat. Now you're just making them so far. No, no. Hey, do you hear about Nicola? No, no, what? Marlon, what time is it? What? Uh, about quarter to twelve. Your shift doesn't start till half past. No, I know. I thought I'd come in early, make myself useful. But what about Well, Nic you can, by vanishing till half twelve. Diane, I'm prepared to let bygones be bygones, to rise above this. While you're rising, get this through your thick skull. I don't even want to be in the same room as you anymore. And on those unfortunate occasions when our shifts overlap, I will only speak to you if it relates to the pub. Oh, come on. We're not kids squabbling over the name of a new pet. Are you referring to Jemima? Her name was Nadine. You do... Sorry, you do realise you've both gone seriously off-topic, don't you? Oh, I just... Oh. I know I've made mistakes, but blood is thicker than water. And you're thicker than both, if you think you can get round me with a trick like that. It's not a trick, Diane. We're sisters. We're sisters once. The only reason I put up with you is you own half the pub. Now sling your rock and come back when your shift starts. Stay with her. I don't mind. If she wants a magazine, you've got to come with me, otherwise she'll end up with classic Carl Monthly or The Spectator. Hi. <laughs> <sighs> oh. right. Go away. I just wanted to see how you are. I'll be fine if you just leave me alone. I was worried. <laughs> I was. I was terrified after the accident. Accident. You fell. And what colour's the sky in your fantasy world? You pushed me. No, it wasn't like that. I wouldn't push you. Well, maybe not on purpose, but you pushed me because I was trying to make you see the truth. Truth. That you wasted your time with Carl. You pushed me because deep down you know I'm right. You don't understand. Carl's a good man. A good man? The bloke who, who only went along with having IVF because he, he couldn't bear to tell you that he didn't want any more kids. Stop fooling yourself, Lexi. He's a big, fat coward. That is not true. Oh. What? You're jealous of me because you think I have the perfect relationship, hmm? The perfect man, the perfect life. But let me tell you my secret. I'm not married to Carl. You don't understand. Oh, don't I? Well, I think I do. And I think that you know... Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What is it? Oh, no. No, no. Oh. Oh. It's the baby. It's too early. It's too early. Oh. Come here. Come. Well, that's nice. But I'd rather have someone medically qualified. What's happening? The daughter's gone into family child labor. Oh, Lord. This isn't happening. Where's Jimmy? I, I, I'll phone him. I'll, I'll tell him what's happening. Everything's going to be all right. It is the baby in danger? If it's all now. We're going to try to uh, delay the labor with ritidrine hydrochloride. It's a drug that controls the contractions and holds the... Uh... Give me the drug. Please. Put the labor on hold at least until Jimmy gets here. I was absolutely terrified. It came straight through the front of the shop. I thought it was going to go straight out the back and take me with it. So, anyway, how was Brighton? Yeah, it was good. Not as dramatic as that, though. Mm. No, I just spent most of the time helping my mate Juliet with a new baby. Mm. Yeah, he's lovely. And such an easy birth. She was in just after Loose Women. She was home in time for news at 10. Uh, I've spent more time in the pub waiting to get served. <laughs> I will not be spoken to like that. It's nothing personal. Hey, these ladies, inside voices, please. Nothing personal. You just said I made rubbish sandwiches. I said nothing of the sort. What I said was, there's no point putting tomato in a Caesar salad sandwich, given that Caesar salad doesn't actually have any tomato in it. Who says it doesn't? Well, 
have you ever had a Caesar salad with a tomato in it? Uh, I, I really Our don't customers want don't want Caesar salad sandwiches anyway, or your poncy teas. Do they, Jenny? Oh, they just leave me out of this. I rest my case. Thank you for your support. This is definitely a lot more entertaining in here than at home farm shop. Yeah, for you, maybe. It does my head in sometimes. Hey, you know, if you ever fancy a change, there's a spare room at ours. I could ask Katie if she ever thought about renting it out. Oh, sounds perfect. What are friends for? <laughs> Plus, if she does get someone else in, it might reduce my rent. Oh. Do you know what? I've got to meet David. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you later, right? All right. Text you in a bit. All right. How is she? Fine, no, thanks to you. Oh. I told you to keep away. But what do you do? You barge right in there and send her into premature labour. had nothing to do with me. I was defending you. I don't need you to defend me. Yeah, I get it. I might as well not be here. OK, fine, if that's the way you want it. Well? Mother and baby are both doing fine. According to the cardiotocograph. And if the cardio thingy says it, it must be true. <laughs> Thank goodness. <sighs> Well done. Nicole, oh, are you all right? Uh, no, I'm suffocating. <laughs> You're being sarcastic. That's a good sign. I'll give you two some time alone. Jimmy. I've been so worried if anything had happened to you. Or the baby. Of course the baby. I've been worried sick all the way here. But if anything had happened to you... Don't worry. I'm fine. We're both fine. Ah! Uh, but you were a million miles away while I was stuck here having contractions. And I'm not happy. Oh. Oh. 